Abuja Studios in Nigeria. Hello and welcome to Headlines Nigeria on Internet Television International. I'm Christine Opara. We will be taking a quick look at stories making headlines in our Nigerian dailies. Our first newspaper for today is Punch Newspaper and it says Nigeria at 50. Jonathan's wife to honor Akunyili, EFCC boss and 48 others. Wife of the President Mrs. Patience Jonathan has listed the Minister of Information and Communications, Professor Dora Akonyili, the Chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Mrs. Farida Waziri, and 48 other Nigerian women as recipients of awards commemorating Nigeria's 50th independence anniversary. The Nigerian Tribune has something quite different and it says at 50, Nigeria has failed, says showing her. Speaking as guest speaker at the 50th independence anniversary of Nigeria, organized by the River State Government in Port Harcourt on Monday, Professor Shoenka noted that the Nigerian nation had not been able to find the link between potential and fulfillment. Daily Trust newspaper says Nigeria marks World Tourism Day. Nigeria yesterday joined the rest of the world to celebrate this year's World Tourism Day with an event put together by the National Tourism Development Corporation, NTDC, in Abuja. Next newspaper commission wants better funding for universities. Nigeria's university system will continue to grapple with inadequate funding until the sector is opened up for more participation of stakeholders who will provide adequate funding, says Julius Okoji, Executive Secretary of the Nigerian Universities Commission. Punch newspaper violence erupts in Ibadan. Violence erupted again in the Muslim areas of Ibadan, the Oyo state capital, on Monday as factional members of the State Council of the National Union of Road Transport Workers clashed. Punch newspaper scores trapped as another building collapses in Lagos. Many people were trapped on Monday as another building collapsed in Lagos, the left wing of a four-story building at number 24 Ali Street, Victoria Island, was said to have caved in about 4.30 p.m. Away from major news stories, we now move over to politics. And in Vanguard newspaper, 2011, INEC gets three months extension. The Joint National Assembly Committee on Constitution Review yesterday succumbed to INEC's request for a three-month extension of the 2011 election timetable. Next newspaper, PDP didn't zone presidency, Jonathan declares. President Goodluck Jonathan yesterday broke his silence on the controversial zoning formula of the People's Democratic Party and insisted that the ruling party never zoned the presidency to any part of the country. He also denied allegations that he is using public funds to run his campaign. And in Vanguard newspaper, election petition, NBA calls for sack of corrupt judges before 2011. The Nigerian Bar Association yesterday insisted that unless the mountain allegations of corruption leveled against the judiciary was taken very seriously, dishonest politicians might resort to using judges to alter results of the 2011 general elections in the country. And in business news, next newspaper has this to say, government begins NNPC revenue agencies audit. The federal government yesterday said it has commenced the auditing of all revenue generating agencies in the country as well as the forensic audit of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, as part of the present administration's effort to restore discipline in the management of public finances. Punch newspaper NSE made 9.6 billion naira in eight years investigation. The Nigerian Stock Exchange recorded 9.59 billion naira operating surplus between 2000 and, and 2008 under the watch of Professor Indy Okereke on UK. Operating surplus is the difference between NFC's gross income and expenditure in the given financial year. Daily Trust newspaper Ghana Nigeria partner on agri insurance. General Insurance Company Glico Ghana has reached out to the Nigerian Agricultural Insurance Corporation for the purpose of deepening its capacity in the specialized area of agricultural insurance practice. And in Daily Trust newspaper, Nigeria at 50, farmers say agri sector has failed. The drums are being rolled out for celebrating Nigeria's 50th independence anniversary 
to many in the agricultural sector, it may be termed as 50 years of decline in food productivity and by extension 50 years of hunger and economic deprivation. And in sports news, Punch newspaper have proved locomotive fans wrong, says Osaze. Osaze Odawingi believes he has already proved locomotive fans wrong after making a stunning start to his West Brom career. Odawingi was abused by fans at his former club in Moscow, culminating in a derogatory banner that men felt was racist. Punch newspaper, I want Osaze to play for Arsenal, says father. Super Eagles forward Osazio Odewinge's father would rather his son joined Arsenal for £2 million than signed to play for Manchester United for £20 million. Although he is an Arsenal fan, Mr. Odewinge was forced to pull off his Arsenal shirt to cheer his son when West Bromwich Albion beat the Gunners 3-2 in London on Saturday. And in next newspaper, Taiwo knocking at Chelsea's door. Two defeats in a row was not the way it was planned, but Chelsea have to get over their Carling Cup exit and the more painful loss to Manchester City ahead of tonight's Champions League clash with Marcel. And that's our take on Headlines Nigeria today. I'm Christine Opera. Do have a blissful independent celebration ahead. And thanks for logging in.